you want to get into hardware hacking, then you're going to need some gear. However, you don't need to spend a lot of money to get started, and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Let's get started with the first option, which is a multimeter, of which I've got two great options here. The first one is this yellow one, which I picked up off of AliExpress for $5. And to be honest, it actually works just fine. So if you're looking for a very budget friendly and beginner friendly option, then this is a great choice given the price. If you're looking to step up in build quality, then I would recommend this red Astro AI multimeter, which you can pick up off of Amazon easily for around $20. This is an excellent multimeter, and this is the one that I actually showcase in my IoT and hardware hacking course. The next piece of gear you'll absolutely need is this little guy right here, a USB to UART adapter. Let's take a look at how this $2 piece of equipment can get us a shell into most common IoT devices. This is one of the most common protocols you will see on IoT and basic hardware devices. And if we want to actually interface with that communication protocol, then we can make use of that USB to UART adapter. So then we can hook it up to our computer. We'll hop over there and take a look at getting a shell. To interact with the UART adapter, we'll need a terminal emulator. So we'll go sudo screen, then we need to list the uh, device name of that USB UART adapter, which is most likely going to be slash dev slash TTY USB zero. And then we'll need the baud rate that it's going to be transmitting at, which is almost always 115,200. At this point, we see the boot log starting to filter in. There is usually a gold mine of information that comes through in the boot logs that can help you uncover interesting files or threads to pull at if you are doing IoT hacking. Next up, we've got a flash programmer like this one right here. This device can be used to read and dump the firmware off of a device. One of the main goals of hardware hacking is usually to try and extract the firmware from the device, which is usually going to be loaded somewhere on the board. On this device, it's actually loaded onto a flash chip right here. So this common package of flash memory can actually be both programmed and read with an inexpensive flash programmer like this. And we can actually use this to then dump the firmware off of the device so that we can reverse engineer it and start to look for vulnerabilities. If you want to learn more about how to use this equipment to hack hardware and IoT devices, then you should definitely check out the beginner's guide to IoT and hardware hacking on the TCM Security Academy. And if you want to challenge your skills, you should also check out the practical IoT Pentest Associate Certificate also available through TCM Security.